The city of Montgomery, Alabama is the home of the Alabama State Hornets. But they have a mixture of Auburn fans and Alabama fans. And please believe the Auburn fans were giving Alabama fans all kind of hell after that upset to the Alabama State Hornets. Everybody was in shock. ESPN couldn't believe it. People throughout the South couldn't believe it. SEC World couldn't believe it. Nobody across the country believed what happened. And the question still remains. Everybody wanted to know who is Alabama State. Now a heads up, do not be mad at me. Once again, I forgot to record the scores and results from the rest of the SWAC and the MEAC. I was so excited about beating Alabama that I didn't even think about it. But let's get into the highlights of what happened last week versus the Alabama Crimson Tide in Tuscaloosa. We came into this game as big underdogs. Not only were we expected to lose, but we were expected to lose big. But when game day came, the Hornets showed how much heart they really had. And they showed that they could compete with the big time programs throughout the country. This game started off with the Hornets going up with a 21-10 lead. Eventually going into halftime up 28-17. Kevin Scott was no doubt the player of this game. With four total touchdowns. Three receiving touchdowns. And one running touchdown, the game winning touchdown that put us in front. As far as Alabama, Patrick Anderson was named ACC Player of the Week with his performance with four touchdowns and well over 200 yards. Kevin Scott was named Max Swat Player of the Week with his performance as well. Seven receptions, 190 yards, four total touchdowns. But no doubt we have to give a big shout out to Justin Scott, the Juco transfer, who made the two biggest plays on defense on the last defensive drive for the Hornets. We get out of Tuscaloosa with a 42-38 victory. We go back down I-65. The Hornet fans welcome the football team, embrace them with so much happiness and joy. As we scroll down the top 25 list, you're going to see a few upsets. First, you have the Texas Longhorns losing to Kansas State 24-20, falling from 9-17. to The next upset was Florida State losing for, to Virginia Tech 29-19. Iowa lost to Michigan State, and the Wisconsin Badgers lost to Ohio State. They got obliterated. Look at that. Texas State, UCLA, and Purdue are now out of the top 25. Kevin Scott, as I mentioned earlier, was named Max Swat Player of the Week with his performance. And look at Lance Franklin. Nine tackles, four for loss, two sacks, and a forced fumble. Talk about ironic because this is who we have next week down in Tallahassee. And oh, what an interesting game it's going to be. There goes Patrick Anderson being named the ACC Player of the Week on offense. Meanwhile, over at the MEAC and the Sun Belt. Jordan Hall went off as well as Eric Allen. Look at those stat lines, especially Hall. 10 receptions, 173 yards, two touchdowns. Now let's check out the standings after this past week. Texas Southern is still in first place, a 2-1 record, 1-0 in the conference. Meanwhile, Florida A&M is in first place only because we've only played one conference game. The scene down in Tallahassee next week will be crazy. Now let's get into the recruiting process for the season. Blake Clayton still has us on the top of his list. So that's good. He has poor potential and poor discipline, but we can make something out of him. Brad Anderson, we really need him, especially at the cornerback spot. Eventually, Jason Moore and Cedric McNeil will be leaving. So we're going to look for him to take over the fort. Tim Mitchell, the strong safety, has us at number three on his list, as well as Chris Jones. Marcus Wilson is still deciding between South Carolina and Alabama State. William Dorsey moved Alabama State to number one, pushing down North Carolina State. 
that's big because we really need another middle linebacker. Wendell Davis still has us at the top of his list, so that's good. Very, very good. So you see it. We're on national TV. Well, regional broadcast, excuse me. But nevertheless, we're on TV. We're going to be down in Tallahassee for the second straight road game of the season. And both teams are on a winning streak. I can't wait. We're looking forward to seeing you there. Join us next time as we take on the Florida A&M Rattlers. Peace.